Hi there, welcome to a demo of RunLLM. RunLLM is an enterprise custom developer assistant that helps your users navigate your product and its APIs easily and quickly. RunLLM works by building a custom LLM for your product that's an expert on your APIs, guides, and best practices. It can answer questions conceptually, generate code, and even help developers debug issues. Let's get started with creating an assistant. Creating an assistant is easy. Today, we'll create an assistant for DuckDB, a popular open source analytics database that can run right on your laptop. We'll start by giving our assistant a name and a short description, and then we'll add our data sources. In this case, we're gonna use the data source of the DuckDB documentation as the information that the model will learn from. When we add a new data source, a couple of things happen. In this case, we're going to add a data source, which is the documentation for DuckDB. We'll provide a name for the documentation and a URL. And when we create this documentation source, RunLLM is going to go pull down all the information from the source that you provided. This information is going to be used to fine tune a custom LLM that's an expert on all the documentation that we've ingested. And RunLLM will also create a search index over your documentation that will keep up to date over time as the documentation changes. When we hit save, this will trigger both of those processes. Creating that custom LLM will take a little bit of time, so we'll give it a few minutes to run and we'll come back when it's ready. Now that our DuckDB assistant has been trained, we can test it out. We'll start by asking our model a high level conceptual question. What are the benefits of using DuckDB? When we ask a question like this, RunLLM is going to search through all of the information that's been provided by the underlying training process, and it's going to use that information to synthesize an answer based on its expertise and the data sources that have been provided. Next, we'll ask our model a more tactical question. In this case, we're gonna ask the model to write a SQL statement. It's gonna copy the contents of a particular CSV file into a table in DuckDB. In this case, RunLLM is actually gonna generate some code for us, SQL, because we're using a SQL database. This code that it's going to generate is actually going to be not just based on the expertise that it's learned, but it's actually gonna provide a citation to the copy statement which is the relevant statement in this case, to uh, the user so that you can learn as RunLLM is generating its answer. This example obviously generates SQL because we're using a database, but RunLLM is capable of generating code in many common languages. Once we've built an assistant, it can be used anywhere. Here you see the RunLLM UI, and RunLLM also provides a Slack bot, a Discord bot, a VS Code integration, and a widget that you can drop into your documentation site for your users to use. RunLLM also has a REST API that you can use to build a custom interface on top of the underlying assistant that you see here. Finally, having built an assistant, let's look at the insights RunLLM provides about how our assistant is being used. With our assistant up and running, we can see some metadata about how the assistant's being used. At the top, under the chat history section, you can see a preview of the conversations that your users are having with your Run LLM assistant. Under the data section, you can see what data sources are being used in order to inform the model. And down here, under the usage section, you can see how many chats are being had, as well as any feedback that's being provided positively or negatively about the conversations that are being had. Coming soon, you'll also be able to see other signals measuring your user's engagement, whether or not they're using the answers of the code that's being generated by RunLLM, a clustering of topics that your users are asking about, as well as how the data sources are being used to answer different types and different categories of questions. That's it for now. If you're interested in building a custom LLM, please check out runllm.com and use the request access button here to reach out to learn more about the process of setting RunLLM up. Thanks for watching.